What is going on guys, today we are looking at Libertadores team of the group stage, Valencia. Unfortunately, not the Valencia that I wanted, but we have got a freestyle, freestyle right wing 86 Valencia coming in at just shy of 20,000 coins. And honestly, it doesn't look awful. Like a lot of these players have got decent stat upgrades, but unfortunately they have come just after team of the season. And whether you're going to use them is the next question, but I really wanted to give them all a go just to see if we find any gems. Sometimes you can find an 86 that may fit into a squad. Being Chilean, I don't particularly know who else he could link with other than obviously Vidal and Sanchez so there is two good players there other than that that is it in terms of the links you have got obviously the goalkeeper for the Libertadores who is Chilean but unfortunately you're not going to link that one but we have got the foot birthday Vidal and obviously the in I think it's second in form I want to say striker Sanchez if you wanted to go for some sort of Chilean link that is possible otherwise you've got other Libertadores players or obviously icons in terms of kind of a few of his stats, then we've got good stamina and head and accuracy. He is 5'11", so a taller-ish right wing. We've got some dribbling, nothing too impressive there, but it's still a little bit of dribbling nonetheless. We will go with the finisher, Chemstar, which obviously will get his dribbling and shooting up, turning his agility into 96 and 93 balance with the 99 dribbling, and then with his finishing, it goes to 99, and then you've got 93 positioning and 99 long shots. Obviously, that will be when you get a plus 10 on the player chemistry. If you get him loyalty, uh, obviously, if you play the 10 games, pack him or use the manager, that is the way you do that. So let's jump into Valencia and see what he's all about. Valencia, again, another very, very agile player. Go to the heel to heel. Finesse. Thank you very much, Valencia, with his first goal of the competition. Very standard, really. Just bring it inside. Go with that left foot. Have we got a free kick? The question is, has any of my guys got a free kick on? And their answer is no. Oh, but Roberto Carlos has got an absolute sweet spot on him. See a bit of Valencia. Go with the 1-2. Down the wing, obviously got absolute oodles of pace. Cuts inside. Sees it one more. Heel to heel. That's a great tackle. I thought he may have kind of gone a little bit before that. But unfortunately, timed it absolutely bang on there. Oh, a little bit. Oh, we tried to dink him. Very nice pace with the right mid. To be honest, you do find, like I say, a lot of players with that kind of just pace. This guy, unfortunately, doesn't have that four-star, four-star, which genuinely would have been the kind of icing on the cake for him. As he gets tackled by Bergwin, that, that is atrocious from him. Oh, Valencia winning it back. Go with the 1-2 with Maradona. Oh, it's a lovely ball. He sees the absolute unit. Goes, oh, went across him. I should have went near post. Valencia gets it. We can't see that pass until he sees Maradona. Skips pass. No, Gomez is going to take it. The 91 Gomez is fantastic, to be honest with him. And he wins it back again. No, he doesn't. Misses out on that. Actually, no. Okay, technically he does. Misses out on the header, but does manage to uh, stop him in general and gets the ball back for us. Valencia straight on that one. A couple of step overs. The ball roll inside. He has completely given up on this match. And Valencia is just going to bury it. Again, another fantastic player. Someone who's really going to uh, put in a shift. He's, he's very quick, very nimble, and can score goals. Not much more you can ask from it, to be honest with you. So going into the overall for Valencia then. Obviously, right wing, free star, free star. Already, people have already turned off on this card. He is Chilean. So like I did say, you can link him either with A, Libertadores, team of the group stage players icons or Chilean players you have got the likes of foot birthday Vidal who I believe correct was an SBC so unfortunately if you haven't completed him you are going to have to settle for the one to watch or the inform Sanchez again another one you're going to have to get as the second inform unfortunately that is the highest it goes but you have got a nice little trio there if you should use to use Chilean players. I would again suggest icons if you are putting this guy in your team. Very quick down the wing. Did like it. Dribbling wise wasn't awful. Yes, I did notice the, the kind of heavy dribbling with only having the freestyle skills. But again, you can utilize that to an advantage. Maybe you've got a faster player in your team. You keep swapping it up. You go with the faster player. You go with a quick dribble. You go with this guy. And he's not slow, slow. But I mean, in terms of pace, that's where his main attribute is in terms of ball rolling dribbling it's obviously roulette in 
it's, it's not going to be as sharp. So maybe the defender gets a little bit baffled with obviously the two paces. If he's not a good defender, then that obviously will work. If he is a top quality defender, then obviously this card for me isn't for isn't for the team. He is going to be more of a super sub slash objective player, more than obviously a first team player. Like most of the Libertadores, bar from a couple, they're, they're just not good enough at this point. We've got team of the season after team of the seasons. I think I have probably just shy of 100 in the club, just on major leagues. And to be honest, I haven't really done that much of a, a, a massive grind. Like they were quite simple to get get and then it was the big ones that are hard to get so to have that sheer amount that you could even go low team of the seasons and still get somebody who's going to overtake this guy kind of says it all i think for me this guy mainly uh, the kind of the, the problems with him the four star four star or the non four star four star low composure i think 80 you can just get away with but i think you definitely need to have at least 85 especially with going into the attack i think midfielders could possibly get away with it because if they lose the ball you've got your defense and your goalkeeper if you don't score the goal again the whole team suffers whereas i think midfield you might be all right in terms of right wing again if he's playing more of an assist more than anything you may be able to get get away with it. Great stamina. Strength isn't awful. Obviously, heading, depending on what position you're playing him in, can be a very effective way. We did go with the finisher, I believe, on this one. Yeah, the finisher is what we went with for this guy. Obviously, 95 dribbling, which obviously adds some nice stats there. And then some great shooting. Turn him into a 91 right wing. Again, he's not awful. But for me, I think... I was more impressed with the right back than the right mid. I feel like this guy was was decent enough and he comes in cheap. But unfortunately, he is only going to be an 8.3 out of 10 for me. Let me know down below if you've got any libs in your team or you want to get any. Obviously, with a flashback, Tevez involved. You've also got a couple of other Argentinians that can link to him as well. But bar from that, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.